Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all of my pickups for the month of May, so stay tuned. So during the month of May, we did have a lot of great new releases, some still books, um, some store exclusives, a lot of 4K releases, and um, even some new Disney Movie Club releases. So today I wanted to take time to show you what all I picked up during the month of May. So first up, let me just go ahead and show you my Disney Movie Club exclusives. Um, I did get The Pacifier with Vin Diesel, Herbie Fully Loaded, The Kid, Ice Princess, I got the Raya and the Last Dragon exclusive with a slipcover for the Blu-ray. And I did just get the um, regular 4K release with the slip. Um, some other Disney releases I got was the Target exclusive for Raya and the Last Dragon. And then I'll show you more of the other exclusives that I got for Raya uh, a little bit later on. Um, next up I'm going to show you what I got from Severin. I did finally get my Grizzly with the slipcover. I did watch this movie. I really enjoyed it. Definitely recommend you check this one out if you've never seen it. It is an older film um, from the 70s, I believe. Maybe the early 80s. Um, and then we got Day of the Animals with the slip. Haven't seen this one. I heard it is kind of like a um, continuation from the Grizzly. So I do look forward to checking that one out. I got Perdita Durango with a slip, 4K release. The Day of the Beast with a slip. And also I got the Eurocrypt of Christopher Lee collection. Really nice looking box set with all of these titles included. It is a hard box. Really nice looking artwork. I do like these older films so I'm definitely looking forward to checking that one out. Okay, another Disney um, release was the Best Buy Exclusive Steelbook for Raya in The Last Dragon. Really nice looking steelbook. Happy to have that one. I did watch the movie and enjoyed it. Definitely need to check it out again when I'm more focused on it. Um, I did pick up the Speed Steelbook. Um, I watched this one also. Really enjoyed this one. It had been a very long time since I had seen it. And I thought it was very well done on 4K with the um, picture and sound. I also got the Best Buy exclusive steelbook for Chaos Walking. Not not a bad movie. Um, it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be, but it wasn't bad. Um, I picked up the Saul steelbook. Really nice looking steelbook from Best Buy. I did take time to watch this one also, and it had been a very long time since I've seen Saul, so um, it was nice to revisit that one. Now from Target, we did get the Schwarzenegger 2 movie um, lenticular package for Terminator 2 and Total Recall. Really nice looking packaging um, and still book. And I got the Dirty Dancing Target exclusive still book. So nice to have another still book for that. Okay, some more just regular um, still books that were widely released. You know, you can get them at Amazon, Target, um, and Best Buy, I believe. We got the Sting which I still need to check out. Animal House. The Last Action Hero, which I took time to watch, really enjoyed it. It had been a long time since I'd seen this one. Um, very nice looking still book. The Fast and the Furious still book. Shrek 20, 20th Anniversary Edition still book. Super 8. Psycho, really great looking still book, and The Birds. Still need to check this one out in 4K. Okay, now let's go over some of the boutique label pickups that I did. Um, there's quite a bit of them. First up, we'll do um, the MVD Rewind collection. I got Drive, and I got Action USA which I want to check out really soon. I heard a lot of good things about this one. And then from Blue Underground, I got the Final Countdown 4K with this lenticular slipcover. 
From Kino, I was able to get the good, the bad, and the ugly with a slip. I did take time to watch this one. I had never seen it before. Didn't realize how long of a movie this was. Um, but I am very happy to have this one. I really did enjoy the movie. I do enjoy a good western. Um, I did get from Scream Factory and Shout Factory. I got the two-pack for Crazy Mama and The Lady in Red. This right here is limited. I'm not sure exactly what the limited number is on this one. But I got this one and I got Big Bad Mama and Big Bad Mama 2. I got The Legend of High. I got King Kong, the Collector's Edition. I did take time to watch this one. Really enjoyed the movie. It had been a very, very long time since I had seen this one. Um, and I had forgotten a lot about it, so I'm glad that I have that one. And I did get Explorers on the Shout Select release with this nice looking slip cover. I've heard nothing but great things about this one. I have never seen it, so I am definitely looking forward to checking that one out. Okay, next up I'm gonna show you my pickups from Australia. Um, I got um, a set of Blu-rays called Drive-In Delirium. And there's various different um, editions of this. So I got Drive-In Delirium, the new batch. And what these are, are um, theatrical trailers and advertisements from the drive-in, as you can see, that um, just a big compilation of different types of um, movie trailers. So I, I picked this one up. I got Drive-In Delirium with a Vengeance. Really like the artwork on this one. Drive-In Delirium, Dead by Dawn. and Drive-In Delirium 60s and 70s. Savage, savagery. And Drive-In Delirium, um, something about the 80s, I can't see that. But Maximum 80s Overdrive. So really happy to have these in the collection. I am only missing the m most newest one, which I'm having a hard time finding at a good price. Um, but I will be picking that one up also. So. If you like movies and movie trailers um, and things like that, I would definitely recommend you checking these out. I actually purchased mine off of eBay, so definitely do that if you're interested. Now also from Australia, we have the imprint titles. I've got the Bad News Bears, which I have not seen in a very long time. I saw this one in the theater when it was released back in the 70s, and so it was nice to revisit this one. Um, very happy to have that one in the collection. Regarding Henry, I had never seen this movie before with Harrison Ford and Annette Bening. Um, really enjoyed this one. So check that one out if you're interested. You can find that one at Deep Discount or on eBay. And then I got the Mothman Prophecies, which I had never seen before. Really enjoyed this one. Very great um, story. Um, definitely check that one out. So you can get these off of eBay or you can get them off of Deep Discount. Um, I think this right here is going to be a hard one to get. Um, so check that out if you're interested in picking it up. Now from um, Arrow Video, I got the Elvira Mistress of the Dark still book. I got the UK release before I realized that there was going to be a US release. So you can find this one on Amazon if you're interested. I did get 12 Monkeys, which I still need to check out. A Ghost Waits. Heard a lot of good things about this one, so I picked it up. Clapboard Jungle. Vincent Price in Six Gothic Tales. This right here is a reissue with a hard box, just no booklet or poster, but I had to get it. And Tales from the Urban Jungle. So, very happy to have this one in the collection. This right here um, includes two movies that I already have, um, Brute Force and Naked City, um, but I was very interested in getting the box set with a booklet, so I picked this one up. Um, next up, let me show you some of my other 4K releases. I got Big Fish which I still need to check out. I haven't seen this one since its theatrical release. I got Shrek, 
the 20th anniversary edition slip. Smokey and the Bandit. Enjoyed this movie. Grew up watching that. The Sting, which I still need to check out. Animal House. I was finally able to get a copy of My Fair Lady on 4K. Um, I got this one off of Amazon. It finally came in. Um, I've been trying to build up my A24 collection. I've got a lot of titles in the collection, um, but they also have some 4K releases that I did not have. So I got Moonlight on 4K. I do have just a standard release with a slipcover, um, but I wanted to add that one to the collection. I got Super 8, Psycho, The Birds, Chaos Walking, Saul, and Speed. Okay, from the UK, I did pick up some titles. I got the Cloud Atlas um, Sci-Fi Destination Series Still Book, Blade Runner. I got Animal House 4K Still Book. Um, from the UK, I got this one because it has all of these extras inside the packaging. And then I did the same thing for Fast and the Furious. Now, I got this one from the UK before I realized that Best Buy was going to have the same style packaging. So if you were interested in getting this one, it was available at Best Buy. So you may still be able to find that one. Um, I only saw one copy in the stores that I went to. So if you're wanting to get that, I would definitely check that out pretty quickly. And then also I got the Sting with all of these extras. So I really like these um, extra um, bonus items inside the packaging. So I picked those up. Okay, next up, I picked up Eureka, the complete series. Now this is a series that I started watching back when it was um, airing on TV, but never did finish. And Amazon had a pretty good sale on this a couple of weeks back, so I did um, purchase this one. And then I picked up the Father's Day um, slip editions for various movies that I did an unboxing, or I actually just did a video on for one of my slipcover Saturdays. So I picked all of these up. Um, definitely check out the video if you're interested. Most of these titles that I'm showing you here today I had already done videos on, so check those out if you're interested in seeing more details of those items. Okay, some more boutique label purchases. I got the Urban Legend Trilogy. Um, I picked this one up. Very nice to have this one in the collection. From, um, I got Legionnaire. I'm trying to remember where I get this one from. Um, from 88 Films. So another um, added to the collection. From Eureka, I got Karloff at Columbia. And I got the three films with Sammo Hung. And I got um, The Spy Who Came In From The Cold. From 101 Films, I got Spookies. So here's the newest one um, with a nice little box. So I have all of those complete. I got the Headhunter, which I've heard good things about, so I wanted to get this one. And also Uncle Peckerhead. I got this one from the UK. I never did get the US release. I really thought the trailer looked very interesting. And when I saw that 101 Films had this one, I went ahead and grabbed that one. And then for my regular pickups for the month, just regular Blu-ray releases, which they're quite a bit, I did get Minari which I watched for the first time last night. Really enjoyed it. I thought it was very well done. I really enjoyed the, um, the little boy, child actor, and the grandma, which is interesting that she's not featured on the cover, um, but really enjoyable movie. Definitely check that one out if you haven't seen it. Then from um, RLJE, the titles that I picked up from them, I picked up, this, um, I picked up Sun. Very hard to find that one with a good slip cover. Hunted. And from eBay, I got Gwen. I've been waiting to get a good copy of this one with a slip. Most of the slips that I saw had some damage to the um, slip cover. 
because I believe there was a label over this. And as you can see, there is some, if I can point to it, some sticky residue I still need to work on getting off. But the texture of this particular slip cover is, I don't know how to describe it. There's several of them like this, but it's almost, it's got a weird texture to it. So if you were to use some sort of um, Goo Gone or whatever cleaner on this, it would definitely damage the slip cover. So I'm probably just going to throw this in a plastic bag and keep it sealed up. Um, but some other releases I got, I got the Little Things, which I have not checked out yet. Judas and the Black Messiah, which I still need to watch. The Father. Um, I got Star Trek Lower Deck Season 1. I do like animated shows. I do have most of the Star Trek releases, so I picked this one up. I got the Tom Cruise Mission Impossible 25th Anniversary Edition with a slip. I really do enjoy Mission Impossible, especially the first one and the latter ones. Um, I think they just get better and better. So um, I do have all these on 4K. Actually, I do not have all these on 4K. I have some of these on 4K. I never did get the ones with the slips. I still want to get those, but anyways, I went ahead and added that one to the collection. I got the Virtuoso. It was on sale at Target, so I picked it up. Um, Justice Society World War II. I do get all of the DC animated um, um, films, so I definitely had to add that one. I really do love the artwork on this. I do just buy the regular Blu-ray releases. I don't get the 4K releases because my whole collection is nothing but the Blu-rays, especially because of the, I have all the older ones. So just trying to keep that consistent. I got Smoking the Bandit 3 film collection. Um, if I'm going to have Smoking the Bandit in the collection, I might as well have all three of them. I have seen all three of these. I definitely enjoyed the first one. The, final, the last two were okay, nothing special. I got Shrek 20th Anniversary Regular Edition with this nice slip. I got Above Suspicion, which I need to check out. I got the Bad News Bears. So I did get the Bad News Bears um, 100, I see. I got the Bad News Bears release from Australia in the little box set, but it didn't have very many special features on it. But this one right here, the US release, I got it. It does have some special features, um, some different special features on this one. So I grabbed that one also. I got The Kid Detective. I heard a lot of great things about this movie. Um, it was very... I never heard about this movie until I read some reviews, so I went ahead and picked this one up. I got Willy's Wonderland. I found a good price on this one at Walmart. Since it didn't come with a slip, I held off on purchasing this when it was first released. But since I found a good price on it, I went and got that one. And then from eBay, no, from Amazon, I got The Collector. Um, somebody was recommending that I check this one out. I did not have this one in the collection. So I picked this one up. And I picked up High Tension. Someone recommended this one also. So I got that one. So anyway, that was a lot of stuff. I'm sorry about all the rambling. But a lot of stuff picked up in the month of May. Hopefully the month of June won't be as bad because... I mean, I, I do pick up a lot of stuff. I do spend a lot of money. People give me a really hard time about it. Um, I'm not doing it to to brag about how much I can buy, but I do enjoy purchasing physical media. And so when I see something that I want, if I have the money to get it, I go ahead and purchase it. So those are my pickups for the month of May. Um, I know there were a lot of titles. Hopefully June won't be as bad. I know we do have a couple of steel boots coming out in June that I've already pre-ordered. Um, but I think the month of June will be a lot calmer than what May was. But it is nice to see that we have so many physical release, um, physical media releases during the month of May. It's, it's almost like the stores are getting stopped back up on releasing some of these titles. Um, so I'm very happy that I was able to get as much as I was able to. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you were able to pick up. And let me know what you think about my pickups. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video.
If you haven't, found me on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And if you'd like to check out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.